One great feature of the Action 5 is the way that it handles audio files. At the moment, you can see that I'm using a dynamic microphone. You can't put a dynamic microphone straight into the camera. So what I have here is an arrangement where I've got the microphone and in this plug here, I've got a little preamp and the preamp then serves a little bit more power into the camera itself. And it's going directly into the back of my multifunctional handle, which is connected to the camera. So I can use this microphone if I want to, or any other microphone for the, really that has a 3.5 millimeter plug on the the end and it goes straight into the camera. Now not only does it go straight into the camera, it isolates a little bit more any noise around you and at the moment it's quite noisy out here, there's someone banging over there, there's traffic behind me, birds tweeting all over the place, so it's quite uh, noisy here, which is why I'm using a dynamic microphone. But when this camera is recording audio, what it does is it takes the signal from your microphone and plants that underneath your video and it can also record a WAV file separately. Now that WAV file is not coming from this microphone, it's coming from the microphones inside the camera. So if I tap this, that's the sound that you get from the microphone when I tap it. Now if I tap the camera, you probably didn't hear it, but if I switch the audio to the WAV file, you probably can hear it. Now that's gonna be quite useful because if you use something like a shotgun or a directional microphone on top of your camera, you can have that directional functionality facing forwards and picking up stuff from the front. And also you can get decent audio from the rear just by switching to the WAV file instead of getting the relatively muffled sound of the um, whatever microphone you have because these shotgun microphones tend to sound a little bit muffled on the rear. So you can switch between. So in effect, you've got a two-way microphone, one that faces forward and picks up nicely from the front and that you can pick yourself up from the rear quite nicely. At the same time, you're hopefully isolating yourself from all the noise around you as well. So to show you how this can work, this is a Rode stereo video mic and it's stereo on the front and it's directional. So hopefully it cuts out a little bit of the noise around me. So if anyone's speaking in front of the camera, this should pick them up pretty well, but it's not so good from the rear. So when I speak on the rear, I'd switch straight over to the camera microphones and get clear audio from me. So I've got the best of both worlds, good audio from the front, good audio from the back when I want it, and in the meantime, I've still got the rejection of a directional microphone. So now I'm using the Rode Stereo Video Microphone. Actually, it's really noisy out here. I've got people banging, there's a saw going over there, there's traffic and there's birds, all sorts of things going on. But this is now in stereo. So hopefully it's directional and it's onto me. So if I go to this side, you'll find that the audio has wandered. If you go to that side, you'll probably find the video has wandered as well. But for most video where you're vlogging around the place, you might want a sense of where the person is in the screen so the stereo can help if you're doing just a talk video like this it's probably better to stay in mono but if I go to the rear of this microphone it's not so good now just to do the tap test here's the microphone itself to show it's on and if I tap the microphone the camera sorry right now if I go to the rear I'm going to talk from the rear of the microphone and you'll see or hear hopefully that maybe the, mic, the audio isn't quite so good and uh, that's because these microphones are more sensitive on the front. Now if I switch over now, now I'm talking from the camera itself. So the camera WAV is being used for me to speak. Now if I switch between the back of the camera and move to the front to take the, um, the microphone, uh, take it from the microphone basically i would need to just fade between the camera audio now which i'm using and the mic audio so now i'm going round to the side of the microphone and i'm gradually fading it and hopefully it faded fairly nicely between the two so you can control it all you have to do is take the wav file plant it underneath your video line them up and then just fade between the two as and when you need it so the audio on this camera is pretty good. Hope to see you next time. Cheers for now.